as we give an update on what's happening with Assembly Bill 2249, this bill dealing with the, the eradication of treasured locales in Yosemite because of a trademark dispute at the federal level. Uh, the president was just there in Yosemite, but he didn't stay at the Iwani. I believe he stayed at the Majestic Yosemite Hotel because it was renamed. They wouldn't have driven past Curry Village. It's now called Half Dome Village. Uh, when they helicoptered up to Glacier Point, they would not have passed the Badger Ski Area because that's been renamed. So we have this weird trademark dispute at the federal level that has forced the renaming of these iconic locations uh, that have been with us forever. Uh, Curry Village dates to 1899, the Iwani Hotel to 1927. The Wawona Hotel, now called Big Trees Lodge, was built in 1879. And uh, among us here, I see Robert Hanna, uh, who is back here, whose great-grandfather was actually John Muir. So Mr. Hanna, it's an honor to have you here as we talk about this heritage global site where the names have been changed. Uh, this is really about actually, with the president having just been there, the leader of our federal government. You know, when we formed the original Constitution, it was we the people to form a more perfect union. There's always been this struggle about how the states and the federal government interact. California, we've sort of got caught up, bushwhacked, by this interaction between what the feds did and our own iconic sites. So today we, we are here to talk about Assembly Bill 2249. This bill, which I'm joined, all of my co-authors, there are many co-authors on that bill, but those that are flanking me among the legislative membership are co-authors. Mr. Gray, Mr. Bigelow is my principal co-authors. Mr. Ashajian, Mrs. Brown is my uh, also co-authors. Uh, this bill is an effort to kind of right this wrong and frankly to put some pressure on nationally. The bill is moving very well. It has been, it is tombstoned as it were, the California Heritage Protection Act. Uh, it has got not a single no vote as it has moved through the legislative process. It is a very substantive bill. It says you cannot be a concessionaire with a practice of trademarking and get a concessions contract in California. That is an incompatible activity. You can't call yourself a steward of a California state park and yet try to shake the money tree by trademarking the names of those locales when it is simply based upon a concessions contract. I've been a park enthusiast my entire life, and um, I was so shocked to hear that a concessionaire wanted to own the names of places that I've enjoyed throughout my life. And any park is a public resource, and I feel that a concessionaire should not be in the business of basically taking state or public property. and. Um, Charging that or char charging a public re um, agency to retain its its iconic name. We we have 87 state park cooperating associations like ours, and w one of our jobs is to protect natural and cultural resources for our the state parks we're dedicated to, and I think I represent most people in the entire state when I say that. A name like the the Awani Hotel or Curry Village belongs to the people and not to a corporation. And last week, uh, we sent off letters to 157 legislators in the other 49 states, explaining to them what happened in California and encouraging the other 49 states to follow the lead of California and adopt their own Heritage Protection Act so that a concessionaire cannot come into their state and do what was done for us. Mm -hmm.